Thanks for tuning in. This is lecture 5 minus 1. It's all about the TS structure of the ocean. T, temperature, S, salinity. Okay, so let's have a look at the content list. We first of all look at the surface distributions of T and S. And then we focus on the vertical structure. Okay. So you learned all about density, and you know that the heaviest water sits near the bottom of the ocean, near the sea, on the on the on the seafloor, and the lightest water you find at the surface. Okay. However, because both temperature and salinity make up the density, the structure of salinity and temperatures can be can be different. Okay, can be quite complex. Okay. However, you find that if you look at the, the deep oceans, you know, in the, in the coastal oceans, it's a different story. But if you look in the, in the open ocean, in, in, in the deep water region, you find the general structure, okay? a, a typical vertical structure. And you can describe different water masses according to their T and S values. Okay? So you find surface water. Then you find water, which is called central water, which is the water of the permanent thermocline, intermediate water, deep water, and bottom water. That's the names of these waters, and you find them in, in all oceans. Okay. And then we talk a little bit about how do you create these water masses. It's about oceanic subduction. And then I give you a brief introduction uh, to water mass analysis, which means how is water, where is water formed, and where does it go? How can you identify water in, in the ocean? And then as an example, I, we just try to trace water masses in the Indian Ocean. Okay, I give you one example. 